hello 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 guys uh, welcome to yet another tutorial so we're gonna be continuing uh, with our app development journey so i want us to make a simple to-do list to-do list app so yeah it's it's one of the apps that you can do uh, when you are studying uh, this app development journey just to test your skills so yeah i want us to do a to-do list app um firstly uh we are gonna be using a library called swipe list i want uh, our items to to delete on swipe i do not want to mark them but then i want the, i want to i want to delete uh when you swipe to the left or to the right because on, on a to-do list um you can mark your items as done and then you can also delete them so i want i want our 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 app to on, on the to-do list i want it to be able to swipe uh when you want to mark it as done you will swipe it and then also when you delete it you swipe it right so yeah maybe when you delete you swipe to the right and then when you mark as time you swipe to the left so yeah let's let's go ahead and do that then we are going to need a library called swipe list just go to your browser and uh, swipe and then search swipe list view swipe list view uh, react native yeah um i think uh i think it's it's this yeah it's this library so make sure that you are you are using uh this library uh it's pretty as uh so many stars so it's 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 used in most cases and it's recommended so yeah you're gonna be using this um library let's see how we can install it uh, so to install it uh we're just gonna use npm let me copy this come to my code uh all right let me stop this because uh then paste this npm that i've copied here right this one so paste it in here and then uh, install it and uh let us wait for it to install yeah so yeah it has now installed um then if you are using mac uh you're gonna have to do this port install right but then if you are using uh android uh it's cool i mean windows it's cool but then if you are on mac uh, you're gonna have to do this port install and then uh, paste it here and run it but then if you're on windows like me uh you're, you're okay now uh yeah i guess uh everything is cool now then we have to import uh this web list view at top Uh, let me input it. yeah in our home we are gonna be using it in our home let me put it here then we are going to use it here uh so we are not going to have this timer anymore uh yeah um yeah we're not going to need this uh so i placed view i guess yeah 
so let me just copy okay let me let me firstly do this swipe list view here swipe list view is it self closing yeah i think it's self closing yeah it is self closing yeah so and we're gonna be passing in props in here let me get rid of this use effect um, and this state yeah we will use them but then uh, for the swipe list so here um you're gonna be taking props of data you're gonna pass data here and it's gonna take an array right and then another one it's render 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 item so this is gonna be the view that will be appearing on the screen and another one is which one okay yeah, render item render hidden items yeah um so this render hidden item uh, will be the ones that are at the break uh, i'll show you how they work this render hidden items are the one that will be at the back render hidden item so as you can see while i'm i'm, I'm just typing here you can see the different uh props that you can pass here so uh, if never use this one so for render so render row uh, yeah i've only used yeah this ones these three ones that i have now so um on this data uh we have to pass a an array of data so let's just create an array now uh let's call it um to do items let me create a variable const to do items so we're gonna take an array here then we're going to pass this to do items here right um so in this to do items uh array uh I'm gonna make an array of objects. Um, here I can say ID. Okay, let me just um, see item. And then uh, item one with item one. Uh, yeah, actually, let me just make this uh in one line yeah uh again i can again uh, make an id so uh, an id of one let's make it a string this id let's make it a string so that we don't have to convert it or we can just yeah actually let's, let's just do a number straight then you convert it to a string uh, in that in that sort list so let me make a few more items then change these ids to three and four so item two item uh, three and item four yeah so these are the items that we're gonna be seeing on the screen uh then in this render item uh we're gonna pass a function that will will render these items uh so that function is gonna contain a view to render these items so we can just do this 
uh, excuse me, just do this. I think it is taking this. Uh, so in here, we're gonna pass, uh, you can see data or we can see items. Let's just do items, items. So these items that we're passing here will be these ones. So here, let's say view. Uh, then inside this view, you can pass text. Then this text uh, will contain uh, the items. Okay, let me say item, item here and remove uh, the ruler, plural, item dot uh, name. So, yeah. And then on, okay, for now, let me remove this render hidden items. And uh, let me run the app and see what I get. Expo start. Uh, Uh, let it start oh and then here let me refresh let me wait for it to start so it has started let me refresh yeah uh, i hope it doesn't give me any errors because I've never done this before. Oh, it's a network error. I've never tested it, uh, so just the first time I'm trying it. Each and every error that I'm getting will be the first time that I get it. So, yeah, my, my Wi Fi. Uh, let me just disconnect and connect again. So yeah, it's it's working fine now. I did start. So let's see what we get. Looking. Um we're getting yeah, this there is uh okay. Let me let me just apply some styles to to this to this view. Um you can see. So let me see border width, the border width of one. Uh, yeah, so we have those uh, list items here. And um, this text, uh, let me give them a color. of black just say three 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 yeah I'm not sure why it's not applying yeah let me give you the font size of 15 I'm not sure why. Um, oh, so it's here. I did a mistake. I said item dot name. Okay, let me change this ones here. We here. <laughs> I was gonna say item dot item. So if I do item dot item, uh, it should work. 
yeah but then uh, i guess i should change um this item here and make it name Let's see name 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 Uh, yeah, still I'm getting an error. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Let me see how they passed this uh, in the documentations. Deleted item. So should I say? to do items let me see data here i want to see something data dot uh, item dot name want to see something okay so it's working when it's like this okay i guess we just have to leave it like this so yeah just change it to be like this say so data dot name dot item so again uh yeah let me let, let's just uh apply okay let me see something oh because we don't have that render it's not um swiping now so let's just apply because you can see that it, it is starting um at the top top dev uh, from the status bar so let me just import a uh, status bar here from react native status bar and then i'm gonna take um width from the status bar So yeah, let let's apply the peeling peeling top here. Peeling top to be a uh, bar. Uh, but uh, current height so oh so it's applying the pain to to this view okay i do not want the painting on this view but then uh let me wrap this uh so i placed inside a view Let me wrap this uh, actually a safe area. Let me import a safe area view here. Safe area view. And let me use a safe area view here. Then um let me import this. Uh, make this inside a safe area view. And I'm gonna apply my styles here. So yeah, actually let me just do a container. Let me remove this thing here. Let me just do uh, apply this container. Yeah, I already have a container here. So yeah, I will just say styles dot container. Uh, and then uh, here I have to say padding top. Padding top. Padding top uh, of. It means we're going to take the status bar to the current height.
so yeah um in ios uh you can do that you can import platform actually let's do that for ios here let's see platform let's import platform here uh, in React native and then here let's use platform dot uh os and if it is uh android it should apply this pd and else uh, it should be zero so yeah it's it's fine now so let me remove this yeah um now we also have to style this view uh let me see okay comma before let me see it's items items view so uh let me pass it here items view or oh, it styles before styles dot items view let's see so yeah um inside here we are gonna style this items view can pass it now at pairings and everything so firstly let me pass um Pading. Pading, let's make it a uh, 10 uh, and uh, let me say but uh but a radius or oh, let me give you but a radius of 10 and then for now we won't see it uh, because and then uh, let's give it a background color of uh, white ff uh, let's give it margin uh, margin of uh, five let's say five So yeah, it has a little margin of five now. Then uh, elevation and see what. Yeah, so this elevation only works in for Android. So it applies this uh little. Don't know if you can see them. Yeah, this little uh shadow color at the bottom so for ios you're gonna have to apply those uh you, you let me search for ios a o s u shadow react native or bora shadow yeah you bought it. What I should do, Greg Native. Uh, yeah, in iOS, you have to apply this. Should offset. Yeah, just copy this. And paste here. So uh, in your iOS, then you will have this border zero. Yeah. So again, um, yeah. But I think uh, it, it it's a bit cool now. So here, uh, can let's let's style the. 
the names inside the items inside so styles but um item items yeah you can just see items so let's see items uh we're gonna give it a a color of um and then uh, let's give it a font size of 15 uh yeah what more can we give it i think, uh, I think it's it's fine now yeah so uh, because we are implementing a swipeable view uh let's let's also do this render render hidden item right so uh, i can just copy this actually we just copy this um then paste it in my swipeable list yeah here so uh it doesn't have let me remove this style but then yeah it's not applying it's fine now we can swipe to the left and right so yeah i hope i hope you can uh, see that a bit so yeah it's now swiping this is what i wanted to implement so now um when we swipe to to the left like this uh it will be maybe yeah when you swipe to the left like this it will be uh add to to done items like if if uh, you are to do you are done with it you don't want it uh, you are, i mean you're done so you're going to want to remove it from this to-do list so we're going to remove it by swiping to the right then if you want to delete it uh, you're going to swipe to to the left right so yeah uh let's see another thing that we can add i think it's this left open and right open values yeah, let's just add them here so uh this will help us in um like if yeah as you can see now when we swipe uh it doesn't come back here again so it takes 75 uh pixels here uh opened and then if i can increase it to maybe 100 So it will take 700 now so yeah it has increased so let me do 200 so maybe so that we can yeah so i'm sure now you can see these values because if if it's 200 like this like it's a little uh in the middle so but then on your left it, it takes 75 when you said uh, right so yeah this is the values but then uh we are not going to need this uh, i think uh we are just going to delete delete so these ones are uh, help when you want to make the maybe make a button here All right so if you wanted to make a button here for deleting uh like when you swipe and then there should be a button that you have to click right so you will put that button here so but then now i just want us to delete it on uh, swiping so you don't really need this uh, values so yeah um 
and then to we also have to style these uh, hidden items so yeah, i guess let me just apply the styling of items view items view uh okay let me let me uh say it's just hidden items then make uh it's okay let me copy this let's see gonna be hidden views hidden items so we don't need this uh elevations you don't need this shadow uh what we need uh is just going to be um and this margin, do we need this margin? Yeah, this margin, I think we need it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's let's remove uh, this text, right? Yeah. So now we just have this. Yeah. So let me check the time yeah uh, i think i think for for now uh we can just uh leave it here and then we will continue in our next tu tutorial um i'll make the button here actually not the button i'll make it when you swipe to, to the right like this it deletes and then when you swipe here it uh sends it this item to uh, the done list right and then we're gonna be using uh, uh array methods also so that we can remove it from this to do items list and so forth so yeah we'll also be using those um use effects and use states uh going forward so we will see them in play so yeah thank you guys um and uh, don't forget to subscribe like and comment uh leave your views in the comments so so that uh, i can improve and then let me know what uh you want me to do better and then yeah i'll appreciate that so thank you we'll meet again in our next tutorial